guys, welcome to Rock in the Country. I'm Don, and today I'm doing a subscriber request. Shocker there, I know. I've been doing like all subscriber requests. You guys have been suggesting them. And um, be, please be patient, because a lot, I mean, there are hundreds of songs that have been requested by now. And um, so I'm keeping a list of them, <laughs> and I'm hoping to get to them, but we'll see how things develop and how long I live. <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna take a while to get to them all. But I'm doing, John Moreland's song, You Don't Care For Me Enough To Cry. That's a hell of a title right there. And this was requested by JBC81. So JBC, this one goes out to you, goes out to everybody as well, but a special shout out to the person who recommended it, JBC81. And this is off of uh, John Moreland's 2015 album, High on Tulsa Heat. So Tulsa gets hot. And um, I have a buddy of mine who's there right now. He just, you know, whatever, I won't go into those details, but he went down from Jersey, he goes down every few weeks. Anyway, um, and John Moreland is from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go figure. So, um, and I've been to Oklahoma. I went from Northwest Arkansas. I've got some friends in Springdale and Fayetteville around there. We shot over into Oklahoma for a weekend and, and it was fun. So. Um, I don't know a lot about Oklahoma, but I know I've been there. I can legit say I've been there. And so that's it. All right, let's hit this. John Moreland. This is a reaction video. I don't know this one. Here we go. Oh, he's a big boy. Pretty picker, too. Oklahoma on his knuckles. Come down from your mountain. Oh, I miss your holy shouting. These days I can't make you make a sound. Take me to the times when we look up to the skies and climb up there and draw the thunder down. Uh. Now I'm forcing myself into what you've already been through, but darling, I can't help the way I feel. When you need something stronger, a drug to kill the hunger, and ease the awful pain of living here. Wow. Well, I'm the kind of Maybe we should take it as a sign When I'm strung out on leaving Exalting all my demons And you don't care for me enough to cry Damn, that would hurt a lot I love acoustic and his or her guitar. I dreamt I'd take you with me and You'd say you forgive me And we'd live out some easy ancient song Now where I unattended In splendid love's remembrance You lost the mind I'm just going to pause. They're showing the audience, right? And of course, you don't know what people are thinking. We tend to think that, oh, they're, they got a storybook life or whatever, and they're just enjoying this. But there's no way there aren't a lot of people in the audience who aren't relating to this song on some level. We've all experienced pain in this world, and pain almost always involves another person. And it doesn't have to be romantically. It could be your own children. They don't turn out the way you want them to, you know, or they move away on you or, you know, your job. There's somebody there who just isn't right or there's it. But the pain in life involves other people. 
And the thing is, human beings are made to want to be with other people. We're social creatures. There are a few of us who could live off the grid totally and be by ourselves. But that's, I don't know. I mean, we've all thought about doing that. You see the picture of the house out at the base of the Colorado mountains and there's nothing else by it. Or in Norway and there's nothing else by it. And you're like, oh, that'd be so nice to live there. But you get lonely after a while. Most of us would. We'd be, or at least be alone, and we'd crave some kind of companionship with people. So I'm, that, this is the kind of thoughts I get when I'm looking at the people in the audience watching John Moreland sing this song, that they're not just... I mean, some of them are really, it's hitting a chord within them, too, because that's the human experience. Here we go. Once I was enough to make you try Now I'm underneath the rubble Trying not to feel the trouble And you don't care for me enough to cry Oof, That'd be a hard realization, man. If they didn't love you that much. That so guy much. knows how to deliver a line in a song. He knows how to stay in the pocket. And that was beautiful. I mean, seriously, that guy's an artist. He's a performer. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you say? Um, I'm going to rate that song. This is a reaction video. I've never seen that before. But those of you who are kind of like familiar with what I look for, there's, it's, it's a com composite. I don't have like 10 bullet point lists that I look for, but one of the main things I look for is did the song capture the sliver of life that it was trying to capture? Like Miranda Lambert's Love Your Memory, that song to me was it's one of the highest rated songs. Red Sylvain's song, Teddy Bear, was my highest rated song because the artistry, the way he sang it, his voice, the message in it, the tear jerking, Good Lord, did that thing capture a, a sliver of life, but broadened it with the other truckers going to the house and helping out and the beauty of human beings at times. And, um, you know, truckers who get, you know, disparaged, let's put it this way, because they're just truckers or whatever people might say at times. And then you find out that, well, you know, they're human beings with hearts too and they show up. That kind of song was off the charts. I gave that a 9.8. Miranda's song, Love Your Memory, was about breaking up, but a certain way in which the breakup happened and it was a little bit of a mindset. And so they were very highly rated. And this song, just you don't care enough for me to cry. That is a sliver of the human experience on the sad side, of course, that was brilliantly executed he performed it brilliantly. He didn't go above, beyond. he didn't try to sell the sadness. He just was in the pocket of sadness. I don't know if he wrote the song and he was reliving in his mind a breakup or the woman that broke up with him um, or didn't care enough to cry or somebody else wrote it and he could relate to it and bought into it, but he stayed in the pocket of what that song was trying to capture. He didn't go below it, he didn't go above it. There was no strain in what he was doing. And that's part of um, how I see a song. So, an acoustic always gets me, man. I appreciate, I respect another human being who could get up there with an instrument that's just wooden metal, you know, maybe a little plastic or something in there somewhere, but and just use your fingers 
and make some sound and hit a note with the group, you know, the audience, me in this case, you and the audience that was there and, and, and keep your attention like, wow. Um, I'm going to give this one an 8.8. This is the type of song that could live on forever. This is the type of song that 200 years from now, people will be able to relate to. It just is. As long as human beings have emotions and thoughts and all that and relationships, this will be a song that we're, someone will be able to relate to 200 years from now. So, um, great song. All right, so there it is. JBC81, thank you for the recommendation. Good stuff. I'll probably get to more John Moreland stuff down the road. I've got a bunch of other songs in queue already, um, as you know, but um, there it is. So, 8.8, .8, You Don't Care Enough For Me To Cry by John Moreland. Phenomenal song. I love this dude, too. He looks like he's got a really big heart. So there it is. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep rocking the country. Mm -hmm.